All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're here to talk about today the uh, small HD DP6 and the DP4. Um, we used both of these guys on our uh, last feature, uh, as well as a few commercials we've done since then. And I'd love to give my two cents on kind of my overall input and feel on what these guys, uh, how they perform. Um, I'm not going to do in-depth kind of features and all that stuff just because they have a pretty good information on their site and other people have done some good reviews on that. Uh, just in general, I want to talk about an everyday use kind of a philosophy, how, how, uh, how I thought it performed. Um, first, I'll start with the DP6. Uh, first off, awesome monitor, nice and big, um, especially compared to all the little LCDs that were, you know, on all the DSLRs and stuff. So it's a definite must when you're doing anything that you need some critical focus on. That's not just your kids, <laughs> I believe. Um, uh, just out of the box, first off, uh, DP6 feels very, very solid. It looks a little bit like uh, a little plasticky, but it's all aluminum, uh, pretty tough. Um, it's got three mounting, or sorry, four uh, mounting screws on, on all the sides, which is very, very nice. So you can put it on your rig however you, you need to. We did have this guy mounted from the top and hung down, which is nice. So you could put them wherever you need to go. DP6 battery options. We had with us, we had their small HD uh, branded battery, which was kind of nice to have. Um, just mounts on the back with some thumb screws. This guy on the feature went about, about six hours, so half the day. It wasn't on all the time. Um, so we ended up having also their Canon uh, battery mount in the back. We had a bunch of the 5D70 batteries hanging, hanging around. So uh, about halfway through the day, we'd, sw we'd pop this guy off. We'd swap, this, uh, swap it for this guy and um, continue shooting. Now, I, we never had, we were conscious, we were battery power conscious about um, turning the monitors off and stuff because we didn't have you can't, my, my, everything over here is out of focus, I apologize. Uh, and look at my big monitor over here. Anyway, um, we were power conscious because we didn't have just tons of batteries sitting around and we were, had, we were out in the middle of the woods, so power wasn't an issue. Um, but we did power the rest of the day off of one of the Canon batteries, which was pretty cool, making sure it was turned off. Uh, and then once, if for some reason we went a little bit long and the Canon battery was out, we'd pop this guy back on because it had been charging. So we just rotated out, which is nice. My one gripe about these panels, and I'm not sure that the small HD was considering these guys being swapped out in the middle of the woods at night, but a, a number of times we actually, I'm making sure I'm in focus still, we actually dropped these thumb screws in the brush and had to search around for a while to find them, which kind of was annoying. So. It'd be nice if there's some kind of retention on the back, so these just stayed, stayed put on each of the plates as as you took them on and off. But so battery options, nice to have. Uh, you know, 5D70 is super popular, so uh, there's probably a bunch of those batteries around. I did have we, uh, a few from my 70 that we were using. So the DP6 input-wise, uh, obviously component and HDMI. Um, the HDMI. To use, to use this monitor as a operating monitor and then send it out to go to a director's monitor, you are gonna need their small HD splitter, which actually works, there we go, you can actually see it. I feel like an idiot showing things that are out of focus. Um, which works very, very nice. I just taped it to the rig, on the shoulder, on the shoulder rig, where it needed to be um, convenient to we could cable off. So uh, thanks guys for thinking about that and including that in your setup. Uh, one thing you think about when you're especially using this HDMI is that the HDMI is, is not a robust format. It's mostly meant to be plugged in behind your stereo and left. So whenever you're mounting or uh, cabling components, always think of a way, in a strain relief, something to keep the cables from moving because they will eventually, the cables will go first, but eventually they'll end up destroying your uh, the inputs on your components, which would definitely be a sad time. Okay, so DP6, very impressed with it. Uh, we had another, we had a Marshall, little nine inch or seven inch Marshall, nine inch Marshall on set, and uh, I preferred this over that. 
I didn't feel like the, some people say that they like the, the f controls on the Marshall better because they're right there, easy to get to. I didn't feel like we were slowed down by having an AB button and a scroll wheel. To be honest, we didn't use half of the cool little toys that the DP6 and DP4 have inside of them just because the monitor itself was sharp enough and clear enough that I didn't need to use the, the focus assist. And uh, we actually used the false color occasionally, but we were metering off of the, uh, the histogram on the camera itself. So those are great things to have if you don't already have them employed in some kind of you know, in-camera setup. Uh, I won't. I won't complain about it at all. But honestly, we just move, use this as a monitor to see what our, our framing was like and our focus was, and it worked out great. Pardon me, just a second. All right. Um, oh, uh, one more thing on the DP6 here. They do send, uh, along with the nice, obviously very nice LCD, they have this acrylic screen protector, uh, which is a great idea because just getting out there in the field doing stuff, uh, undoubtedly the, the screen's gonna get attacked by things, if it's trees or uh, you know, the, the arm loosening and kind of falling a little bit and tapping against your rig. Uh, you can see, I'm gonna see, we, we did throw a few little scratches on this protector, so I'm glad that we had that, especially because you can just get another one, slap it on. If you, once you've kind of worked this one uh, too hard, you can put another one on and your screen is just as good as new, and you're off and to the races again. I think that's it on the DP6. Uh, the DP4 we also had on the other shoulder rig, so we had this on camera A or B or whatever camera it was. Obviously a little bit smaller, a uh, little bit smaller resolution size as well, but again, I never felt like I was lacking in resolution to get a critical focus and uh, to make sure that we were getting uh, the shot that we needed, and the footage uh, proves that. Um, it's a world of difference between this and an LCD on the back of whatever camera you have. Uh, this, this mounter does a really good job. Uh, I would have liked to have the eyepiece as an option just because um, it, is, it is a little bit smaller, so getting a little bit closer to it is nice. But without it, I still felt like I, we were getting what we needed to get. Uh, this guy also comes with the acrylic protector. It's a little bit smaller. It's just some tape, some double, double stick tape that just slaps on the edges there. Look at my monitor again and make sure I'm pointing the right things. Uh, and again, this one we, you know, we ran into a couple trees with, I think. Um, so that's going to be replaced pretty soon. Uh, the one of the coolest things with DP4 is with the input, you do have your component, which is a mini jack uh, adapter, and it also has your HDMI, but it has an automatic built-in pass-through, which is very convenient because on a smaller rig, again. Um, you don't need to have space or room to to be working with splitters and adapters and stuff so it's nice to have it all right there in the same package i will say with the hdmi it probably is a wise idea to figure out some kind of angle uh elbow adapter or i have a i have like a 360 swivel cable that takes a lot of the strain off when your monitor's mounted and the cables are going uh there, there's some again there's some strain that goes will get translated the cable will go first and then it'll start eating away at your at your com uh, connectors on your components, which is not good. Um, same thing, the DP4 has, this one has the Canon batteries mount. I don't know if they have them yet, but they are saying that they're developing some more backs for this guy, so you can just pop it off and on uh, for whatever batteries you have that's convenient for you. Uh, again, we ran uh, one of the Canon batteries, here we go, for about six hours and then swapped it out. That wasn't on all the time, that was turning it off just to make sure we conserved power. Um, I will say on the DP4, it's a little temperamental. You, you want to turn the monitor on first and then the camera. It'll see it. Otherwise, it, it won't see it and you'll be aggravated by that. Um, DP4 th four has three mounting options, uh, which, you know, one less than the four, but I'm sure you can figure out how to rig it. It is cool because occasionally I have rigged this guy upside down um, just to kind of keep the components, the the mounting or the um, input options up and out of the out of the way so I've I've hung it upside down and you can flip the image which is pretty cool with their firmware so they kind of thought of everything on that regard which is very very nice um, if I was going to pick one of these monitors because I know that we're all very poor I would probably go wait for it 
the DP4 for a couple reasons. I feel like this is a more versatile monitor. You can treat it like a viewfinder. You can get your, the eye cup on there and look at it very, very close. Whereas the DP6, it's hard, especially in the sunlight or uh, I know they have this nice hood, which is actually pretty convenient. Um, but it's harder to get in and look at it really close and, and kind of get personal with it, uh, depending on the shooting circumstance. The DP4, you can get it nice and tight. Um, it's smaller for fitting in uh, your camera bag, depending on your rig. Uh, this is a smaller rig that I've broken down. This guy fits perfectly right here on a, um, on a little a swivel ball mount, or the arm works nice very well out here, so I can put it wherever I need to, which is nice. Um, I just feel like that the I don't feel like there's a there's that enough of a difference between the two in resolution in during operating that I feel like this is going to give me a much better or easier to work with product than this one is at the end of the day. I feel like the DP4 does just a fine job, way better than whatever belts in LCD you're going to have. It's great because you can use it as a director's monitor, uh, same with this guy or you can use it as your onboard monitor, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's also a little bit cheaper, which is nice. I feel like it gives you more bang for the buck on the DP4. Um, I wouldn't complain about having both of them. It was great to have them all on set, um, including the Marshall, uh, to just have to have off external monitors that we could use for director's monitors and uh, operating monitors and second cameras and all kinds of stuff was, was awesome. So these guys are doing a really good job. And uh, I think that's about it. Let me double check if I haven't forgetting anything. Ah, nice resolution. Yeah, uh, good job, Small HD. Uh, we're excited to see what other kind of cool things to come up with your always updatable uh, um, firmware. And uh, yeah, we had fun with these monitors. Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, have a wonderful day.